What's going on YouTube? This is SG1 Sports. If you're watching our college football channel, we continue with our 2023 predictions. The Texas Tech Red Raiders are up next. Let's take a look at some of the other predictions for them. You see the FPI has them at 7.5 and 4.6. Athlon had them at 7 and 5. And the over-under is at 7.5. So this team seems to be right there at that 7 and 5 number or potentially 8 and 5. Or 8 and 4, I should say. Um, it's a team that I think has a chance to be pretty good. I mean, you look at the offense, they've got Tyler Shuck back at quarterback, had some injury problems. If he can stay healthy, there's plenty of weapons around him. Uh, they've got some good receivers and tight ends. Their offensive line is really strong. Uh, maybe not a superstar at running back, but they've got some guys there. And then you look at the defense, very strong defensive line. Secondary looks really good. One area of concern, maybe one weakness for this team would be the linebacker position. Uh, if they can get some good production out of that position, I think this team could potentially make a run at the Big 12 Championship. I, I mean, I think they really have the pieces to do that. Um, so, the, yeah, I think they're going to be good. I think this is a good team. we we'll take a look at the schedule here. And it's a tough schedule because they play Oregon in the non-conference. They don't get to play Cincinnati or Houston, two of the teams that I think are going to be maybe uh, towards the bottom. Actually, they do play Houston, but they don't play Cincinnati, who I think might be the worst team in the Big 12. Um they do play Texas. They do play TCU. They do play Kansas State. Uh, they avoid Oklahoma. I guess that's the good news there. But um, we don't really know how good Oklahoma is going to be. Obviously, they weren't that great last year, but they are expected to be pretty good this year. Uh, but yeah, looking at this schedule, and this is really, I talk about in my prediction videos a lot, how I, I look at the schedules, I come up with the record that I think the teams are going to be, and then I sometimes have to move games around to get that record for every team. And that's really the case in the Big 12 because you've got so many games that could really go either way. I mean, you look at this schedule and you look at at West Virginia, Houston, Baylor, Kansas State, BYU, TCU even, Kansas, UCF, Texas. I mean, all of those games, really Texas, that could win them, but I could also see them losing. So you've got a lot of, of games, again, that could go either way. A lot of those 50-50 games. I do think they'll beat Wyoming there in the opener. That should be a fairly easy win, although they do have to go on the road. Uh, but again, I, I don't really see them losing that game. They play Oregon next on September 9th at home, and I've talked about this before. I think this is a pretty good matchup for Texas Tech. I think that they have a chance to definitely compete with Oregon. They'll be playing at home. Uh, you know, it, it, I don't think there's a huge gap between Oregon and Texas Tech. I think Oregon's probably the better team, the more talented team. Uh, the linebacker position, I, I talked about that earlier for Texas Tech. Can they get? Can they use those guys to maybe get some pressure on Bo Nix? Or can, can they contain Bo Nix? Of course, he likes to run and stop the running game for Oregon. I think their secondary matches up well. I think their defensive line matches up well. Uh, but that could be a question mark there. I ultimately think this will probably be a pretty high-scoring game. And I do trust Oregon's offense just a little bit more. But, again, I think... I, I would not be shocked if Texas Tech pulled off this upset, but if it comes down to a pick, I'm going to pick Oregon, but I do think it'll be a close game, and then Tarleton State after that should be a win. So I've got them at 2-1, and one, heading into Big 12 conference play. They'll play West Virginia on September 23rd on the road. A tough place to play. West Virginia is not expected to be great this year. I think they might be better than, than some people are, are giving them credit for. Uh, I think getting a, to a bowl game is going to be tough for them. I think that's about where they are, right around that that six and six mark, maybe a little bit lower, or maybe a little bit higher. But anyways, this is a, a pretty good West Virginia team. It's going to run the football. We know that, and they're going to be solid on defense. They, they've got a really good offensive line. Uh, that's something that I don't think people are talking about a whole lot in, in terms of some of the top offensive lines in the country. Um, but Texas Tech has a good defensive line, and so I think they'll be able to hold up. Uh, can the linebackers hold up against the run? Road game. It'll be tough. Again, this is one that I don't think Texas Tech, you know, I just I talked about how I think they could upset Oregon. Well, I think West Virginia could upset Texas Tech. Uh, I'm going to say they beat West Virginia, but, you know, those could even be flipped. Maybe they beat Oregon and lose to West Virginia, and that's what I talked about earlier. Uh, there are just so many games that could go either way. They play Houston next on September 30th. Interesting with Donovan Smith, now the quarterback at Houston. Of course, he played at Texas Tech. Uh, that's an interesting dynamic there. Uh, I think Texas Tech overall is the better team, the more talented team. Uh, plus, they're playing at home. So I think they'll win this one by a couple of scores, but it won't be a blowout. I think Houston is going to be good enough, especially offensively, to make this game interesting. 
but Texas Tech in the end does win. Next, they get Baylor on October the 7th on the road. Kind of similar to West Virginia. It seems going to want to run the football, and you wonder, can Texas Tech hold up uh, against that run game? Um, the difference here is I think Baylor just overall is a, a little bit better team than West Virginia. So I, I don't think that they're going to beat both West Virginia and Baylor on the road. I'm going to say that they lose to Baylor, and that drops them to 4-2. and two. So I think they definitely will split those two games. And then they'll play Kansas State on October this 14th at home. Uh, Kansas State's another team that is going to want to run the football. Uh, they don't have a ton of weapons at wide receiver, but they've got Will Howard at quarterback, and you know they can throw it too as well. So this is not going to be a one-dimensional Kansas State team. But um, it's still a matchup that I think gives Texas Tech a really good shot. I think overall talent for Texas Tech, I think they are the more talented team here. Kansas State might be a little bit better coach, but you know Texas Tech's got a good coach now as well. So this is this is a really tough one. This is another tough pick, and uh, again, I'm just going to kind of go a home field advantage here. So I'm going to say Texas Tech beats Kansas State, uh, but that's really one I could see going either way. Then they go on the road on October 21st to play BYU. Uh, BYU going to have a pretty good offense. Defense, I think, could be a problem for them. Uh, I don't know if they're going to be able to slow down the Texas Tech offense. And so I do think Texas Tech's able to get on, go on the road and get a win here, but in a close one. I do have them beating BYU and going six and two. And like I said, I think every game on this on this the whole season, every game is going to be close except for maybe Wyoming and Tarleton State. Uh, just that's how the schedule plays out. Uh, they get TCU on a Thursday night at home. Going to be a huge, huge game coming off of a bye week. I think both teams actually are coming off a bye week here. And I think TCU is probably a little bit more talented than Texas Tech when you look at the, the overall rosters. But playing at home, Thursday night game, we've seen it so many times. These weeknight games, the home teams usually win, even if it's an upset. It's just how it goes. Uh, they'll be fired up. They'll be ready. I think Texas Tech uh, pulls off the win here at home. Then they'll play Kansas the next Saturday or, or the next week on November the 11th, back on Saturday. On the road, uh, high power Kansas offense. I expect a shootout here. I think Kansas is really being overlooked by a lot of people. I think they are legitimately going to be a good team this year. Uh, maybe not winning the Big 12 good, but definitely get into a bowl game. And I think even higher than that. But I, again, I think Kansas, their offense will be able to score. Texas Tech probably going to be able to score. It's a shootout that goes back and forth at the end of the day. Uh, I would think because they're at home, I think Kansas pulls off the upset here and beats Texas Tech. Then they get UCF there on the 18th. Very similar to Kansas, explosive on offense. Uh, this is one that could go either way, and I'm just gonna go home field advantage. So again, I think they probably split those two games. I think they split the West Virginia Baylor games. Um, if they can get through and beat Kansas State and TCU, they have a chance to have a really good season. And then they'll close things out with Texas on the road. This is just gonna be a really, really good Texas team. Plus having to play them on the road, uh, I've got to go with the Longhorns here. So I think Texas Tech finishes 8-4, and four, a solid season, not quite enough to get to the Big 12 championship, but still, again, a really good year for them. What are your thoughts? Give me your predictions on Texas Tech down in the comments below.